morning. It's currently 8.30 right now and I should be getting ready for my day. But I always take so much time getting up because I am slow. But I kind of just wanted to do like a day in my life hour by hour. It's so cold today, I don't want to get out of bed. I have lots to do, so time to start the day. Oh, this far more minutes. Before anything though, I'm actually gonna be making an Instagram post and it's of my little doodle I did. And I love how this cover looks. Usually when I post, I like to edit the brightness and colors just a bit, you know, just to make things a little bit more vibrant than they appear on camera because this camera tends to dull things a lot and cool the colors, which I don't really like because I'm a big fan of warm things in general. And there it goes. Today's outfit of the day. I just realized it was so dry last night that my lips are bleeding and my nose is really dry too. Man, winter is just so fun. So for today's agenda, I've got two meetings today and I have to finish some things up before I get to work. And it is already nine, so I should get on that right now. I have to get a video up and export it so that I could get it to a sponsor and also I have to send out some emails. There's a lot to do so I'm just gonna jump into it. I was gonna kind of go over how I edit things but then I just kind of got into the mood and then finished everything, but this is kind of what my timeline looks like. And as you can see, it gets more and more sparse the farther I go because that's what happens when you edit at 3 a.m. in the morning. Right now, I am just exporting it and leaving a description. All good. Well, it looks like everything is going smoothly and I am going to get some breakfast while it loads. Woo! Your cafe, Ma? Okay. So bad at pouring. There we go. My half thrown together meal is not too bad. And looks like I am done. Oh, and just like that, I am right on time to start work and I'm going to be working for the majority of the day, so I'm going to see you in quite a few hours. Jokun was a young farmer. It is very noisy now, but I think it's going to be noisy for the rest of this lunch break. But I totally forgot that I have to take a thumbnail picture, so I am doing that now. Because I think a laid out thumbnail looks really good. And there you go. I think that might be it. 
So after all that, I kind of just wanted to show like how I make my thumbnails cause why not? I really mainly just do this on my iPad because I'm lazy and I'm not great at graphic design, but I try. Oh, where'd it go? Hello! I am good. I am um, still very new to Zoom. <laughs> bye! Have a good weekend! Okay, bye. I was a complete dummy and I cut my finger while cutting all these guys because it turns out the guillotine cutter is very very sharp that makes sense but my brain don't compute is dark. I'm dumb. It is now currently 1 a.m. and I am just about ready to go to bed. Ugh. I feel like I didn't really get much done today but it still felt like a productive enough day and most of it was just really repetitive and not that interesting but that is most of my life now. And now we're back where we started and I'm so ready for bed. These are the only things I love about my bedroom. I love the fairy lights and also more plants. Good morning. <laughs> I totally forgot to show this yesterday, but this is the thumbnail I came up with. But actually, I came up with two thumbnails, and then this is actually the poll from Patreon, and I got this one here, and also this one. And I like both of them, and I'm so torn, and so is the poll. <laughs> so I really don't know what to do. I, I don't know, it's just so hard. I guess they both work equally as well. So I am very conflicted, and they're both very cute. And I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna change it back to this one. I don't know, man. This is just what happens when you have such indecisiveness. I think it's because I'm a Libra. I don't know. I just wanted to point out because a lot of people have been asking but I don't use a Cricut. I use a Silhouette cutter and honestly, even though the Cricut is cuter, I feel like the Silhouette does work better overall.
mostly having like a really chill packing day today but i totally forgot that because of saturday the post office closes at 3 and now it's 2 30 and <laughs> i'm dumb so i guess i have to just rush really fast to the post office to at least get some orders out so that is what i'm doing tokyo drift fast and the furious it is now 2 50. do i have enough time i really don't know now i am done for the day and i'm gonna take a little need a break now because i really want to enjoy my saturday and just play lots of animal crossing finger these packages will be packaged if i did that right i don't really know and also i totally forgot but i heard you put everything in the packages but it looks like this when it's all wrapped with the new wrapping paper Woo. i have like a few things to finish before i go to sleep tonight i forget how cute my ipad looks with all the stickers on because i usually just have this open looks so good but um i am working on some patreon digital goodies i'm designing some holiday tags for the digital downloads right now and i'm really liking how it's turning out i mostly like these two because it's like a bear deer and a santa bear and i think it's just really cute to have the tag be the entire face so I made like the muzzle part the biggest so you can actually write names here so they just have like a very tiny squished face. But all the tags overall are looking pretty cute and I wanted to give a little bit of variation so that you have a few different type of tags to use. Hello! It has been many more days since I've been filming because I am still in the middle of packing orders and finally finishing up all the orders for Patreon and Etsy. So it is very very close. I'm just very slow but I am still trying to package all your orders with love. But I wanted to show you I got a heck ton of shoes that I'm not going to wear to go anywhere but I just really wanted shoes because I've been looking at like platform shoes and Mary Janes for so long and look now they're here! I got one pair of Mary Janes from Doc Martens and this is my second pair of like Doc Martens shoes and these are just like the very generic Mary Janes that a lot of people wear and I thought it would be a really good fit for my style and then this is my first time ordering from Nasty Gal and they came in these extremely beat up boxes but I got these shoes so I think I've kind of stated this before already in a few vlogs but if you don't actually know I am 5'11 a pretty tall gal and for some reason I still absolutely love platform shoes 
So these are about like, they look like they're two inch platforms, but then there's like an extra layer on top. So it's about like three and a half. So this makes me well over six foot. I just absolutely love the chonky silhouette of these platforms and they make me look cute. So I had to get them. The other pair of platform shoes I got are these white chunky ones because I saw someone on Instagram had them and that's kind of what started my craze for these platform boots. So I think what I'm gonna love most about these shoes is that you can wear the quirkiest of socks because I have so many different types of socks and these egg ones will go so well with these shoes. Cute socks. Shoes. This is the only downfall to having the couch right in front of the mirror. Not a great full body shot. Did you know that there are certain type of people that have baby face knees? And I am one of them. I bet you can't unsee that now, huh? Now you're gonna check your own knees. See if you got baby faces on them. And then these guys are the nasty gal shoes and I feel Super powerful. I don't even fit in the frame. These are my shoes and they make me feel very powerful because now I am 6'2". And thus ends my extremely abrupt and random new shoes tour. Wah! Aha! What do I do? How do I do this? <laughs>
So I am just about done packing all my orders from my shop update and also my Patreon stuff. I just have a few more that I have to pack today, which include these originals and wood slices. Oh, there's a squirrel outside. He just jumped to the tree. Whoa. I finished up these guys and these are my last few patron things that I'm going to be sending out and honestly I really like how these turned out. It's definitely not like a color palette that I'm used to because it's like very bright and saturated and very colorful but I think it worked out pretty well. So now that these guys are done I'm actually going to be wrapping them in this new tissue paper I have and this is actually from No Issue. I got to collaborate with them and I designed this really cute like fall bear type of pattern and this is actually one sheet that I cut up into smaller sheets because they come in like really huge rolls. This is the size of one sheet. It's gonna last me quite some time. I don't know why I'm yelling. I guess it's because this is bigger. I think a lot of you are familiar with who No Issue is and actually in the month of October is when I first started working with them. I actually did this little digital collab with them which I thought was really cool because it was the first time where I got to be able to work with a brand and be featured on their website. This time around, I got to actually make a physical tissue paper and I got a few of these and also these recycled thank you cards. This is a lot bigger of a design than I thought it was because this bear head is literally like the size of my fist and I thought it was gonna be like maybe like one to two inches big. So in the future, if I ever do get tissue papers again, I definitely wanna have a scale down more intricate detailed pattern because that's kind of just something that I like personally. I'm a little sad because I chose these before I posted them on Instagram so I made these yellow ones and they look really cute but then I realized that more people liked the pink backing of this than the yellow ones but I'm still really happy about how these came out. They are very full and then I'm going to be including these in some of the orders whenever I do open up my shop. I don't think I'll be ordering from them as much or at all after this. I just wanted to give this a try really because I've always been curious about having my own kind of custom tissue paper and actually there is this one artist who has a lot of info about No Issue in her Instagram and they go by Agata Zlotko and I'm definitely probably saying this wrong but she talks about how No Issue isn't as eco-friendly as one would think because there's a lot of shipping that goes on that makes it seem deceiving they have a lot of eco-friendly programs where they plant trees to try to offset the carbon emissions that they make. However, it would be more impactful if they just didn't have such long shipping times. Like for example, I'm from Los Angeles, California and my order still came from Hong Kong. So that was like quite a trek to just get to me. And then all this will be sent out to you guys as well. So if you ever want to order from No Issue, like please look into these stories because they're very informative and it's kind of just nice to be informed about where your products come from and where your packaging is coming from too. But yeah, that's what's been going on so far and I'm still really grateful that I've been able to work with them. So yeah, that's what's been happening so far and what I've been thinking about recently because I had to be more conscious about what I'm putting out in the world as an artist and also a shopkeeper because packaging matters too. Oh, also another video to look at about all this stuff is actually by Lei, Lei Alexan Art. She is definitely someone to look up to in terms of eco-conscious goals and it is a very informative video so go check that out. And now I'm gonna potato a little bit as I need to pack the last of these orders and then I'm able to send out the last of my mail and then I can take a break. Also I can't believe how scraggly my hair looks. I just washed it this morning. I don't get what's wrong with it. It's so frizzy.
Wow. Ah. It is getting really late right now, but I am just about done compiling all of the footage for this video and I just wanted to end by thanking the sponsor of this video which is Skillshare. As a lot of you guys know, I have worked with Skillshare for quite some time now and I am really grateful to be able to work with them. And if you didn't know already, Skillshare is an online learning community and they have a wide variety of class topics for you to choose from, whether it be lifestyle, illustration, freelancing, photography, anything in between. There's been this one Skillshare class that I'm pretty interested in taking myself, which is called Photoshop Basics, Three Ways to Make a GIF by Mel Rye. GIF or GIF, whichever way you say it, you'd be able to make these awesome animated images to use for your own work. GIF or GIF, whichever way you say it, I think it's a pretty cool way to spice up your work and just add some more animated images into everything that you use. What's great about Skillshare classes is that they're pretty great and manageable size classes where most classes are under 60 minutes and Skillshare Premium is under $10 a month with an annual subscription. So if you want to give Skillshare a try for yourself, I have a link down below in my description for the first 1,000 people for a free trial to Premium. And yeah, thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. This is where I'm going to end things for this week. Thank you for joining me on my little weekly adventure, even though it might be somewhat mundane at times. I think it's just kind of nice to take in everything a little bit by bit and really appreciate the days as we go. Because the year is ending and I'm hoping to welcome in better memories for next year. At this point, I don't really know what I'm talking about. It is 3.30 and my brain go poo poo. <laughs> But I do mean it sincerely, thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful week yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye